Hey and welcome back to another video and in today's video we're going to be talking about a Swift UI control called Groupbox so let's get straight into it. Groupbox is a control that is only available in iOS 14 and we automatically get a system design provided to us by Apple. So let's look at how we can use this to build a view outlining a number of saved items. So let's create a Groupbox now but this time with the title. So what we're going to do is just delete this and I'm going to add in a VStack and then when you type out Groupbox you'll notice that you have a list of different options. So you can actually have a localization key, title, um, content, and your own custom label and whatnot. But the first option we're gonna go through is title. So let's just select this option here. And I'm just gonna give this a title of saved items. And then within our content, I'm just gonna add in some text as well. Okay, cool. So as you can see here, when you're working with Groupbox, you get this almost like rounded rectangle and gray box design for free. And you also get the title bolded and the content within it centered. So this is useful if you ever wanna have like a box with some information on the screen that you wanna show to a user, such as like maybe terms and conditions, or if you just wanna display some general information about your app. But rather than having a string there saying saved items, what about if we went to actually customize that and add our own custom label? Well, if you wanted to, you could do that. So let's see how we could do that now. So just below our first example, let's just type out group box. And then you'll notice that there's a second option here that has content and label. So what we're going to do is add in our content and label like so. So for our content, it's gonna be the same text. But this time for our label, we're going to add in a label. And if you wanna learn more about labels, you should check out my video, Labels in Swift UI. So let's add in a label and we'll style it with a symbol variant. As you can see here, we've got our label here and it's using the start as a symbol and we're setting the symbol variant of it to be filled. So now we get this nice style and we also get the box and it's looking pretty nice for free. But you'll probably notice that our text content, you've saved five items, isn't actually aligned to the left hand side of the screen. So what we could actually do if we wanted to, to resolve this is we could actually create our own group box style where we give it our own you know, custom modifiers so we can have even greater control on the way that this gets rendered out. So what we're going to do now is create our own group box style called save style. So let's create a new Swift file. And then what we're going to call this is group box plus save style. Cool. And then within here, we need to use the group box style protocol on our struct. So let's do that now. Okay, cool. So now by us using a group box style protocol, we automatically get this function here, which allows us to access and configure our style. So inside of a function, if you just type out configuration dot, you'll notice that you're able to access the content and the label that is currently displayed within your group box. So this will allow us to align it to the left hand side. So what I'm going to do is just do a bit of typing and then we'll break down what's going on. So what we're saying here is we're adding in a V stack and within our V stack, we're saying that we want it to be aligned leading. So to the left hand side, I want to add in eight spacing between the label and its content. So also as well, what we're saying is that we're going to add some padding around it and we're going to set the frame of it to be infinity. So it fills up its whole container and we want any content within it to be leading. And then finally, what we're saying here is that for the background, we actually want to set it to be a thick material and we want to clip it with a rounded rectangle with a corner radius of eight. To learn more about materials, I go about go over this in my video, buttons and button styles in iOS 15. So let's actually create a dot notation extension so we can just say dot save to access our group box style in our Swift UI views. Okay, cool. So what we're saying here is that on our group box style protocol where it is a group box save style. We're going to give and create a static variable that allows us to create an instance of this style here. So we're able to access this using a dot notation. So let's go back into our content view and we're just gonna pin this onto the screen so you can just see it. And in order to actually use that group box style, what we need to do is just simply apply the group box style modifier onto it. So let's copy this. And then underneath here, we're just gonna say dot group box style, and then we're gonna say dot, and you should see the option here for saved. And now when our SwiftUI preview updates, you should notice 
that our group box style now matches what we've added within our modifier like so oh so just so you can see this material background because you can you can faintly see that it's a bit different yeah what we're going to do is actually give our v stack a background so you can actually see it like kind of like going through so if i just say background and i'm just going to say dot mint you should see now that on our default group box styles, they have the gray background, but on our custom one, we almost get like this faded effect because of the material that we applied onto it. Cool. So that's everything in this video. If you enjoyed it, I'd love to hear your feedback in the comment section below. Also as well, if you haven't already, I'd really appreciate it if you gave this video a thumbs up, as well as subscribing to the channel and hitting the notification bell for updates for whenever I release a new video. That's everything from me. I'll catch you on a bit. Deuces.